think we're live. There you are. Okay. <laughs> Build something cool's here. What's up, Dale? Lone Star Living. Patrick, you're here. Ray, what's up, brother? Good to see you here. Um, Ray, let me see here. I've got to add moderator. Okay, Ray, you're a moderator now. You can uh, put links in and everything. And uh, Liberty Rogue Outdoors. Good to see everybody here. All right, so what's this whole event about? Um, well, uh, or what's this uh, what's this live stream about? November 17th at the Old Mill Pond in Lindale, Texas, we are going to be having the first annual Good of the Land Fest. And um, what this is, is a, a, a skills-based event. It's essentially taking the old skills from the past as well as some modern skills and offering those up to people so that they can perhaps get inspired to learn a new skill or to uh, continue their education. So we've got some incredible things happening at this event and you guys are gonna wanna get your tickets early. This is more of a teaser. Tickets are not available, but you guys are like my core audience and I wanted you guys to be able to get your hands on the tickets first. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to sell out. We're keeping the event small. Uh, Lindale easily brings five to 10,000 people to its events. It's a great little city, but we're going to limit it to 3,000 people. The reason is we've got about um, 11 acres of area where everybody's going to be walking around and talking and meeting up and doing all the events, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, but we, we don't want we want everybody to have a really good time and we don't want you to be elbow to elbow we would like for people to be able to intermingle with some of the guys that are coming out and um, I guess I'll give you a list if you guys look in the description right now you're gonna see a list of channels and um, starting with Liam Hoffman uh, Liam Hoffman is an incredible blacksmith I ordered an axe from Liam about a year ago I think I've got about one more year before I get that axe it's it takes a long time uh, because he has so many. He makes them as fast as he can, but really, really excited to have a custom axe by Liam. I, after years of learning about what I wanted in an axe, I, I have an axe that's similar to the one that he's going to make me, and it's become my favorite. So I was able to learn the axe before I had him craft one, so I've worked out some specific details that I wanted. It's really, really neat. Uh, let's try one he said, uh, oh. advanced ordering for Patreon members. Oh, advanced ordering for Patreon members. That's not something that we can set up. Absolutely. No, that's not, that's not an issue. Absolutely, guys. I'll tell you what. If you're Patreon members, you absolutely get um, – actually, if you're Patreon members, we're gonna ha we're, we'll are gonna we figure out some special package for you guys. Um, I, that is a great idea, Lone Star Living. God, I love you. Um, <laughs> so anyway, back to, uh, back to Liam Hoffman. Incredibly – um talented skilled individual and just if you've ever watched his videos and him grinding and his, and his ability to forge it's just incredible of course everybody knows he is the youngest force and fire champion i think they have one younger now but he was the first person and he beat out a master bladesmith that made an incredible blade but liam's was just um it was just better and it was gorgeous and incredible so he's very very skilled and you know, you guys know that I dabble in blacksmithing. I'm not really a hardcore blacksmith, but I love surrounding myself with guys who know what they're doing, so that I can physically see it and watch it happen in front of me. Um, so I'm I'm really excited to finally be able to hang out with Liam. Uh, Handyman. Okay, so Handyman is really cool. So you guys know we started out as a homestead channel, and we're very much interested in being a homestead channel. And this museum has kind of taken over my life and we've stepped away from everything with the exception of our tiny house and handyman hadn't had that kind of distraction he started a small uh a small house build a tiny house build and then continued on from there in the deserts of arizona and he has built an oasis it is incredible you need to see what this guy has done uh amy if you wouldn't mind posting handyman's channel it's the second one down all these links are in the description guys and they're awesome. But anyway, um, it's him and his wife. And um, I, you know, I don't know if it is his wife. Could be fiance, could be girlfriend. But anyway, and uh, they've created, uh, I, you have to see it for yourself. So he's going to be, his, he has so many strong suits. He's so, he's like a multifaceted individual. Everything on his property he's built, he's building a shop right now, which is just, just massive shop. It's awesome. So he's been, um, he's really knowledgeable on solar. So he's going to come out and they're going to do a talk about solar. So if you're interested in solar, we're going to have that out there as well. Someone that's not a channel is Texas. Yep. Texas Parks and Wildlife to be uh, to be exact. They're going to bring 
their bit of knowledge. Like they really want to inspire people to fish and to enjoy the outdoors. And I know a lot of you guys that are on this channel love the outdoors. So, um, uh, so it's uh, what they're doing is incredible. So they're bringing out their electric boat that has DC current, and they put DC current through the water from one probe to the other, and they're going to go around the entire edge of the pond, anywhere from six to eight foot deep, and they're going to pull up all the fish. They're going to count and measure our fish, and then uh, you guys will be able to actually watch this happen. And then they're going to talk about pond maintenance and how to deal with your own pond on your own homestead, as well as they're going to pull the fish out, and they're going to teach a little class on filleting a fish, which is pretty darn awesome. So... Uh, I'm kind of letting you guys talk amongst yourself for a little bit, and I don't even know who's in the channel. But uh, so, I guess a lot of you guys probably know who A Bomb Seventy Nine is. I mean, he's incredible. It's it's Adam. I mean, it's just if if you don't know, click on the link in the description. A Bomb Seventy Nine. Um, yeah, he's just guys. One of the most knowledgeable guys on uh, machining that there is. He can create anything, and I mean anything, and he does on a daily basis. And um, his YouTube channel has blown up because of it. He has a lot of really, really um, tight-knit subscribers that have been following him for years. AVE it was the person who introduced me on his channel. When AVE shouts someone out, it's a pretty big deal. So AVE um, shouted out ABOM79. That was a, maybe a year or two ago, two years ago. And that's how I ended up watching him and subscribing to his channel. But ABOM is going to be here, and uh, that's going to be really cool. So Adam... He's not going to be teaching a class or anything like that. He's going to be here just, you know, for his fans that want to come up and say hi and talk to him. Um, this is going to be a little bit more of relaxation time for him. I'm sure he'll jump on the forge like everyone else. We're going to have three forges rolling. Um, so it's going to be awesome. Another person I don't have their link to, but maybe someone could post it for me. Uh, it is Blacksmith Tools on Instagram. Oh, my God, guys. If you are looking for any kind of Blacksmith Tool, it's awesome. But if you just want, like, I don't know, like to drool every day about some rare blacksmithing apparatus or some kind of old tool that you've never seen before in your life. That's that's definitely the channel for you. So he's going to bring a bunch of stuff out. Huge Instagram following, and there's a reason why. He's very, very skilled at what he does. So uh, tons of power hammers. He's got a ton. I don't know how many anvils he has in stock, but it's hundreds. I mean, it's hundreds of rare, high-quality anvils. And he's skilled enough to restore these tools. And, uh, yeah, so he's got a huge Instagram following. So check him out, Blacksmith Tools on Instagram. It's more than likely it's at Blacksmith Tools. So uh, he's going to be there sharing his knowledge, blacksmithing with us the whole, whole nine yards. So a lot of you guys have been to Bar Z Summer Bash. And this was my first year to go to Bar Z Summer Bash. And I'm going to tell you right now, guys, Bar Z, link in the description. This is one of the coolest events that I've ever been to. And um, Stan Zinkowski runs Bar Z and he puts on a Bar Z bash party and it's just a bunch of guys getting together the same type thing that we're doing but it's in June so you get like a mid split and I flew out to California I was so excited to be there that's where I met Jimmy DeResta and uh, what an amazing guy that is huh so um and Stan and I I don't know man we just hit it off like right off the bat I really really like him I respect him He's very, very intelligent. He's a solid man, and he puts on a heck of a show for a lot of people. Um, you know, American Rotary sponsors that uh, event, and they do an incredible job. <clears throat> and so, so much so that I invited American Rotary to come out to this event and to hang out with us again because Chris from American Rotary is just an awesome guy. You guys will meet him if you come to my event, but he's an incredible guy. Um, but I told him, man, bring your banners. You know, uh, just please just come, come and hang out with us. So. Anyway, uh, Bar Z Summer Bash, that's going to be in June, and um, let's see, it was, so uh, Jimmy DeResta, okay, so the, <laughs> the whole plan all along until like yesterday was that Jimmy's going to be here, and um, what happened was there was a scheduling conflict, he has a, he had a company that he's working for, and they ended up having to change some time frames on him, so the time frame when they need him is on that day. That may change. If it does change, Jimmy's absolutely coming. So um, he was super excited about the event, and it like you could just tell that that the possibility of him maybe not being able to be here was rough on him. So if you guys don't, if you never have the opportunity to meet Jimmy, he is just I don't know, man. He he's as real as it gets. He is an incredible person. I really really like him. So that may work, and that may work at, may not work out. Now we've talked to a lot of the guys that are on here, 
and we've explained to them that you know that he was coming down because to to Jimmy and I, it, it was going to happen. It wasn't going to be a big deal. Like we didn't foresee anything. But this this one little twist, and it's very important. Your word is gold, and if you give a company or something like that your word, um, you have to rely on that. And and they they have his word, and uh, so it's it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal to me. Um, and we didn't publish anywhere that he was going to be here, but, uh, to those, you know, YouTubers that we've talked about, I believe everyone here pretty much knows Jimmy, but, um, uh, he will be coming back down regardless to the museum because he loves it. It's an incredible place. It's the museum that's gathering all these people. It's so impressive. It's so neat. And just the story behind it is incredible. So, um, so Jimmy won't be there. Um, well, there's a possibility he won't be there. The date is is likely to change as they get closer, and he'll just pop in. So we'll keep you guys posted on that. So the essential craftsman. Oh my god! Oh, uh, I get. Uh, there's something. There's something about me. Like I really like. Um, I don't know how to describe it. When when there's more to it, like when you you know you can go out and you can lay a slab or you can forge something, but when you can kind of eloquently deliver that and 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 learn something more than just the aspect of what you're doing so if you're like hitting steel and if you can take some symbolism out of that and bring it into your life um that's what the essential craftsman does so it's it's he's a very very skilled man but he has such an in, in, incredible quality of being able to make things more um and and see the deeper meaning behind what it is to be a craftsman and uh it, it's incredible so I was so excited to find out that he was going to come, and uh, you guys are going to be able to hang out with him. I'm sure he's going to be doing some blacksmithing. I think that's a that's a no brainer. I've got to finish my two by seventy two. It's been on the back burner forever. He specifically asked if we had that done. So yeah, two by seventy two. We'll get that done. And Dale from Build Something Cool, and I believe he's in the chat section right now. Dale will be here as well. So Dale is the MC at the Bar Z Summer Bash, and he does an incredible job. And Dale is really the cornerstone guy. Who has made all the connections that have brought this together to make this happen um this event would not be here without dale it certainly wouldn't be as cool as it's going to be without dale so big shout out to dale so dale is going to MC the event guys so we're going to have a raffle and we're going to have a bunch of different stuff going on and dale is going to be kind of the guy that's telling everybody what's happening where and doing interviews which is pretty neat fireball tools of course um you know guys i just really really like it when people <clears throat> get when, when someone comes up with an idea and they throw their all into it, you know, and they go for it. And that's what Fireball Tools did. He came up with a product. It's perfect. It works great. It does everything anyone would ever need it to, to do. And um, so I'm, I'm behind that. So uh, we invited Jason out as well. I met him at Barzy Summer Bash. Guys, go click on the link in the description for Barzy so that you guys can start following oh, Stan. He's working with that. He just super chatted. He oh. Said, uh, get the word out. On this event, support people who share their skills. We all grow together. That's it. 42 Fab's coming down to the shop. Um, speaking of all growing together, this is hilarious because I'm talking about fireball tools. And when I was talking to 42 Fab about this, I was like, hey, I got fireball tools over here, so it's not an issue. We can just frame this thing up real quick. Um, 42 Fab is stopping by the museum before the event happens, and he's going to help me build these awesome sliding doors. And um, one cool thing is, is that, you know, a YouTube creator – some people that, that may get in a position that I have where I've got this awesome content that if I really put myself in there, I could I could just have all this content to myself. I'm not that way. We want to share it. I want your names on it when you come and help out. So, um, you know, at the bottom in our gift shop, these awesome doors. Um, I haven't talked to him about this yet, but he's got a plasma cutter. I'm going to have him cut out a 42 Fab logo, and I want it, I want it in the bottom of the doors when we're done. So uh, I can't remember the exact date that we're doing that, but that will be very soon. Um, also, we have, uh, you know, Stephen Cox is obviously going to be there. Chucky2009 is coming down to help us um, with a parking lot build. We have no parking at this event, so we have to really, we're in the process of figuring all that out right now, but we're going to be building a parking lot. So those videos will be coming up as well. So SV Seeker, oh man, this is one of the coolest guys on the planet, Doug. I feel so lucky that, like, I've got to meet all these awesome people, guys. This is, like, this is real. My face is real right now. So Doug from SB Seeker is just solid, man. Really, really smart and learns every day, figures it out, and makes stuff. Makes the coolest stuff in the world. I mean, if you don't follow SB Seeker, he's building a 100-foot 
40 ton ocean going research vessel in his front yard. He's built submarines. He's built ROVs. He's built boats of all kinds. And um, yeah, it's, it's awesome, man. You can go to his house and help him out. I think Doug and myself were probably two of the accessible YouTubers that I know of. I don't know of anyone else that like, if you come to the museum on Saturday, Unless something weird is happening, I'm there, and you get to hang out with me. The same with Doug. You can schedule a time where you can come work on SV Secret Project, and you can put your hands on the boat. And, um, yeah, it's really cool. So that's going to be awesome. Um, oh, Harry Potter. Yeah, so right. Do-Right Fabrication. Guys, click on Do-Right Fabrication. If you want to learn how to fabricate, this is your guy. So uh, he's actually going to be the person who's going to be teaching me how to TIG weld. I'm going to go down to Florida here pretty soon, and I'm going to spend some time with him. Because I've really got to hone that skill. Uh, hone it? I don't even own it. I've never tick welded in my life. So um, we'll, we'll be uh, we'll be doing that with with Do Right, and he's going to uh, actually uh, teach a class. So it's going to be like the basics of TIG and the fundamentals of TIG. And the thing about this class is, if even if you know TIG welding, sometimes we don't know why we do things or why certain things are a certain way. And that's where he's gonna he's going really going to illuminate. Um, that for us, and if you don't know, like he's he is sponsored in part by Lincoln, and they don't sponsor anybody. Like um, it's it's quite impressive. So he actually teaches class for Lincoln welders. That's gonna be like that's incredible. Another skill set you're gonna get off grid with Doug and Stacy. So here again, we're going into that homesteading side of things, um, where you know these people are literally living in a cabin that they built with their own hands and. You know, they don't have all the niceties. What they're doing is incredible. And it's uh, it's it's a lifestyle that everybody wants, but some people are afraid of. And they are truly... Um... Oh, Andrew, what's up, brother? Um, I haven't been putting the links for everybody. I can't quite keep up, but they're all in the description, guys. Yeah, so uh, that was Andrew from um, uh, Boxsmith Tools. So... Uh, yeah, definitely you guys want to get over there and check that out. Anyway, off-grid with Doug and Stacy. So he's going to come out, and he's going to talk about what it is to live off-grid and, and several other things. It's going to be – that's going to be one that I'm probably going to be really interested in because it's a lifestyle that I um, – I don't know. We, we set out to – we, we actually did it for a long time, and then we moved locations, and so now it's kind of a, one of those situations where it's I, – I, I need to be inspired to get back to my roots, and um, – it's just tough with all my attention being at the museum. So it's going to be really nice to hang out with Doug. And, uh, man, the guy is knowledgeable. There's so many he, – he's a craftsman first off. And that's the thing with all of these guys is that they're better at everything they do than I am. And I love that and because I want to surround myself with people that are better than me. It's the only way I can possibly elevate myself. And I, I, not for competition, for um, just a, a shared enjoyment of the craft, I think. And uh, that's that's what's going to be so awesome about this event. And uh, Stephen Cox, I talked about him. I mean, you guys know Stephen. He's going to be down here. What Stephen's going to be doing is all hit and miss all tractors. So, guys, we're going to have, oh, I don't know, 10 hit and miss motors up and running for you. So let's talk about the event, and I'll start with this next one, Hand Tool Rescue. Eric, like huge fanboy of Eric from Hand Tool Rescue. Obviously, uh, I love his videos. I watch every single one. There's not one that I haven't seen. And some of them I've seen it twice, you know. So I really, really like uh, Eric from Hansel Rescue. And he's really cool. And he's really, really smart. Um, so anyway, Eric and I are probably going to be doing like a live restoration of something. We don't know yet what, but we'll probably get together, him and I, and I'll, I'll come up with a couple ideas because we have so much cool stuff there. And then we'll let you guys vote on it maybe and figure out what you uh, what you want us to do. So, that, so that'll so that be going on. Then we're going to have a raffle. And um, we've got really, really cool stuff coming in. Like we're going to... Raffle tickets, I'm not sure, three, five bucks, I'm not sure yet. Um, and uh, I know that we're going to be giving away a, a, a multi-process welder, uh, you know, TIG, MIG, stick, ACDC. It's going to be pretty cool, as well as a ton of other stuff, guys, really, really cool stuff. I know that um, Stan from Barzy is making um, uh, uh, Z-squares. And if you haven't seen his Z-square machining squares, man, uh, someone's going to get lucky. I don't have a set for myself. Like, I want a set. It's tough because this stuff's going to come in um, like drill hog. Um, they're going to be sending their drill bits. And I've been wanting a set of their drill bits for a long, long time. And they're going to send them to me and then I just got to give them away. And I've got my crappy old drill bit set that I've been like resharpening and resharpening every time I need to, 
to cut in something. So uh, really awesome swag. Those videos are going to come out. And um, Anchor Loop just sent a bunch of Anchor Loop for you guys. If you haven't checked out Anchor Loop, uh, when you're lubricating your parts as you're drilling or cutting, um, you know, any kind of hand lube, you know, when you would when you would drip it, like it, it replaces your oil, keeps the parts cooler, and it lubricates incredibly well. I used it today, and it was very, very impressive. So um, CRC may make a showing. We're not sure yet. We, we still have to figure that out. Uh, you know, CRC has been fantastic. Their products are great, and I would like for them to be there so you guys can see more of their uh, of what they have to offer because it's hard for me to include everything. They offer so much. It's hard for me to include that in every video I do, but I'm really trying to show you some products that are that are high quality. I got some great degrees here in this next video that you guys are going to really like. Um, my next video, I take a bucket. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know this, so follow me on Instagram. I have a bucket. It was just full of stuff from a garage sale. I paid like a dollar for it. And a five-gallon bucket, packed to the hill, rusted. Every bit of it was just like rust. I went through it. I picked out the good stuff and I ended up with like seven pieces and I'm restoring all of them, so it's going to be pretty neat. So you guys should like it. Um, but uh, I'll be doing that in my next video. But back to the museum. Um, uh, just got here. When and where is this event? Okay, the event is November. Okay, I can. I, I pulled my words back up. I can see now. Okay, November 17th at the Old Mill Pond in Lindale, Texas. So uh, going to be an incredible event, skill-based event. We're going to have blacksmithing. Sure, we'll do some sort of a hayride or something like that. Um, hit and miss engines. We have an incredible log splitter that's hit and miss powered. We have hit and miss powered pumps, the whole nine yards. Um, uh, did I say blacksmithing already? We're going to be blacksmithing. Everyone's going to be blacksmithing. This is going to be like so much fun. Um, extremely skilled blacksmiths too. Yeah, we have multiple presentations going on. So it's going to be like a skill-based event. You're going to be able to learn all these different skills or get motivated to learn it. We have people making pottery and doing like teaching spinning uh pottery classes um we've got whittlers like literally this incredible 70 year old man that just whittles and he makes the coolest stuff and uh, the kids love him as well but it's gonna be food, trucks, it's gonna be food trucks yeah we're gonna have we're gonna have the whole nine yards there'll be music there as well um it's not gonna be a long event because we don't want to keep everybody long it'll be uh show up at eight o'clock in the morning park enjoy the museum event starts at 10 ends at four and um yeah it's just gonna be uh it's gonna be really really neat so Okay, guys, any other questions? Ask me questions about the event um, or what else is – yeah, I can see them. So what else is going to be there? Yeah, the live feed is going to be incredible, guys. We're going to be live streaming all day. So, um, Oh, cool. Sounds awesome. An hour and a half away. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be – it's going to be really cool. Uh, Connor or Khabib? Khabib. Um, <laughs> ticket prices oh it's kind of tough guys we vacillated about this we were thinking maybe eleven dollars but we thought that was too high so it's ten bucks and um yeah ten dollars it's nothing <laughs> so uh they are they are gonna we're not doing anything at country fest but uh, they are gonna sell out here um probably very 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 soon uh i imagine as soon as they're up a lot of them are going to be gone because we're going to be announcing this across a ton of channels and not even all the channels that are coming are listed here. Like there's a ton. Like J.K. Canvas is going to be here. He's right there. Uh, Forty two Fab. Uh, you know, I'm 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 positive he's going to be there. Um, and just a ton of other awesome YouTube channels. So it's going to be very very neat. But uh, yeah, this this event's going to sell out quick. We're doing advertising locally as well, but we don't we. We, these people are used to being able to walk in and buy tickets at the door, and that's not going to happen. It's going to sell out on YouTube, and you got the combined subscribers, like, I don't know, a couple million subscribers <laughs> between all of us. Um, so uh, just YouTubers? No, no, this is everybody. It, this is o open to the public. Ten bucks for tickets, and um, uh, kids are going to be – we have to charge for kids. I wanted it to be free for children, but we have to charge – and the only reason we're charging is because we can't regulate 3,000 people if we don't know how many kids are coming. So we're going to charge a few bucks for kids. Um, so shouldn't be a big big deal. Um, too bad I live in Georgia. No, you're not far, man. We've got great hotels here. We're setting up group rates for the hotels, so you'll just give them the good of the land promo code, and um, they'll take care of you. Also, when you come down here, you can make it a weekend event. It's going to be incredible. So, um, yeah, that's it, just 3,000 people because we want – we could easily sell more than 3,000 tickets. We could in a heartbeat. I know we can. 
um, we can get 5,000 with just locals, guys, if we just open the doors and they saw people. Uh, okay, good question. Where do you get tickets? I'll tell you about that in a second. So the reason we are limiting this, so this is going to be a very, very special occasion. We would like, if you come to this event and you watch my channel and you want to hang out with me for a little bit, that's what I'm looking for right there, to be able to give you a little bit of my time. Um, it's important to me. So um, it's just, oh, do right doesn't have a, so it's important that we, um, do right you're a moderator now. Uh, it's important that we're able to, uh, as YouTubers, spend our time with you because we're all social. Like this group of guys, we enjoy talking to people. We enjoy sharing. And we and, and so it's about you. This event is not about me. Um, it's about the museum. It's about learning. It's about all of this other stuff. But, yeah, not about me. Um, and it, even though this, the city asked to name it the good of the land fest, and, um, uh, which, is, which is fine, um, and I'm not – that really doesn't have like – I don't know. It, it's it's a good name because it's a it's a nice name. It's a friendly name, and I think it works. It works really well because I, there's not a lot of ego that comes with me and my channel. Uh, I'm more about other people, and I really really like other people. And I'm kind of dedicated what I do at that museum to other people, and I want to be giving, and I like that giving atmosphere. So um, anyway, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So what was that? Where do I buy tickets? Okay. So everyone here, get a pin. I'm going to give you the 411. Take your time. Get your phone out. Do whatever you got to do, but get a pin. Visit Lindale.com. That's where you're going to get tickets. But in order to know what's going on, and these are not available yet, in order to know what's going on and make sure that you get the tickets, you need to like the Visit Lindale Facebook page right now. So go to Visit Lindale on Facebook and um, like it. See. So where they're gonna when they're awesome. gonna announce um, Richard, are you watching right now? I just got your text. It's awesome. So is that where they're gonna announce when the tickets go on sale? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you guys there and you go. um I, I think maybe you should talk to the tourism director about maybe getting a little bit of advance notice so that we can post on Patreon first. Yeah, so we will get a hold of you patron patrons and uh, make sure that you guys have um the uh, yeah, there it is. Keep keep posting that the uh, Facebook visit Lindell. That's the important one, guys. You, that's where we're dropping it. I'll drop some information, but it's going to be up there before I can get my YouTube video out. Um, so so we'll try to post it on Patreon first, and yeah. then we'll try to get it up on like Instagram and other social media. What's up, brother? All right, Stan's here. Let me make Stan a moderator. Add moderator. Okay. Something cool says. He's bringing his wife, Jen. So he's talking to Jim, but he's saying he's bringing his wife. Oh. And his wife is Jim. I, Jen. I, thought, I thought he was saying he was, he was going to bring his wife, Jim. No. <laughs> I'm like, Dale? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hold on. Ah, uh, airfare. Yeah. That is the ticket. Uh, too bad I live in northern Australia. $10 ticket plus $2,000 airplane plus yeah. accommodations. Yeah, no doubt, man. So uh, when you guys come down, we're getting like a group rate from every single hotel. So um, we're not we, – this is – so the museum is run by a tax from hotels. So I was in two meetings with two separate hoteliers today to make sure that they didn't gouge. And what you guys are going to get is you'll go to visit Lindale.com or you'll go to visit uh, Lindale Facebook page. Once again, Facebook page on Visit Lindale. Go like it right now. Um, there's 85 of you that need to bump 85 uh, today and because – I think they've got six, 6,500 people that are following their page and that already know locally what's going on. So, um, But anyway, uh, Mr. Cox is going to be here. And uh, so, yeah, sorry. I'm, <laughs> anytime I have to read these comments, it, it, you know, it's hard. It's hard for me to do that. So anyway, uh, visit Lindell.com for all your ticket information. Tickets are cheap. We have special group rates on hotels, and those will be – through visit Lindale.com. They'll give you the individual phone numbers and all that stuff. So, um, yeah. Lindale is probably an hour east of, uh, of Dallas, Texas. So, and guys, here's the thing. If you happen to be driving by Saturdays, come visit us. Come hang out with us, you know. Uh, give me a link in the description. <laughs> Everybody right now, 85 of you, if you don't watch 42 Fab, um, 
go check it out. He's going to be on my channel again soon. And he's just, uh, yeah, you need to follow him on Instagram, too. He just made an awesome sign for Ingersoll Rand. Very, very skilled. So, um, yeah, uh, he's going to be coming down to the museum and helping me out with a couple projects to get prepared for this event. And he's going to be at the event as well. And we're going to be adding a lot more people to this list, guys. So this list is going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. I, my typing sucks. You know, this is the first time I've ever added a description to one of these videos before. Stephen Lang from Shark River Machine is coming. So um, he's in the links. It is. Right, Stephen? No? Are you coming? No, I don't think Stephen's coming. Sorry. I'm mixing things up. But uh, hi, Stephen. How are you? <laughs> it would be good to have you down here. I really enjoyed spending time with Stephen at uh, uh, Barzi. It was fantastic. 100 miles east of Dallas. There you go. And it's 80 all the way. So Ray, man. Miss hanging out with Ray. Ray's awesome, too. It's like, I don't know, man. When you go to these events, you make friends that you just know the next time you see them, it's going to be a blast and you can't wait. So, um, yeah, definitely want to check uh, check out Barzy again this year. Huh? Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, that's okay, brother. You, you, uh, we'll, I'm sure I'll see you at Barzy. Yeah. I will I will be at Barzy. So. If you guys can't make, like, if you can't make the drive or you live too far away, just make sure to tune into the live stream. The live stream is going to be going all day, all day. We're going to be taking, like, a lot of questions on the live stream. So it's going to be incredible. Okay, any other questions before I sign out? I got to roll, guys. Oh, it's the beginning of train show season. <laughs> hey, we got a pretty cool train museum up here, too, when you come down. Uh, it's pretty neat. All right, guys. See you later, man. It's been a pleasure. Uh, love you all. Hand Tool Rescue shows up at the end. <laughs> I'm saying goodbye. What's up, Eric? How are you? <laughs> you have to rewatch it. I was just telling him uh, what's what and what we're doing with this awesome event. But anyway. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm out. Y'all take it easy. And Roy, yeah, 100 miles. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sort of right dead smack in the middle between Dallas and Shreveport. So, guys, I'm going to be doing a few more lives here and there. We'll get we'll get back to doing our Saturday lives. And um, yes, I'm so excited you'll be there too. I was telling them how how much I love your channel and I never miss an episode. So, um, yeah, God, it's gonna be it's gonna be fantastic. And um, yep, yeah, Lindale, Texas. Visit Lindale on the uh, Facebook page. You need guys, that's what you need to follow. Okay. All right, man. God bless.